Hi, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. I have some new Wrong Wrong products to show you that just released right now. We have a sticker book called Peace, Love, and Stickers and a pet tape to go with it. Very excited to show you these today. and We're going to do a little plan with me for my patron Megan with these stickers. Yeah. Okay, so we have a sticker book and a pet tape. And the interesting thing about this pet tape is it's not shiny. Do you see that? I love it. I opened this and looked at it and I was so thrilled that this is more of like a clear matte finish than a shiny one. Um, because I know a lot of pet tapes can be pretty shiny and I don't like the extreme shine. So really excited to show you this. Now in the past, we have had code Bumble10 for 10% off. I just wanted to let you guys know that as of June 1st, that code does not work anymore. But when you use my link, you get 10% off. So just so you're aware, there are no codes anymore, but you still get the 10% off if you use my link. So I will stick it down in the description box. Always appreciate it when you use my links anyway. Okay, let's take a look at this sticker book. So of course we've got some retro stuff going on. I know a lot of companies are putting out retro stickers lately but um, it's very trendy, so that is why. And these are a little bit different. They're like extreme retro. Wait till you see. So we're gonna do like a 70s spread for Megan today. I'm very excited about it. Okay, so it's called Peace, Love, and Stickers. So the first page is on paper. We have some boxes here. Good vibes only, good things take time. It's a good day. Some of those smiley flowers, love. This is a heart shape, by the way, kind of. And of course, in all of the Wrong Wrong sticker books, you're going to get the fashion girls. They're always dressed to the nines. Look at that one. She is on the cover and on the pet tape. She's got a really groovy dress on. Those high green boots. Love it. We've got some wavy boxes in here as well. All you need is love. Do what makes you happy. And the 70s kind of font. So this is like 60s and 70s, I guess. Some more boxes on this page. Shopping list, a wavy shopping list with smiley faces and flowers. Look at all of these bullet points. Some have smiles, some do not. All are cute. Don't worry, be happy. There's a little living room. Boho babe, very cute. Loving all the retro colors. This reminds me of my childhood. All right, so we have the ripped paper here. It's funny, I'm just gonna interrupt myself, but it's funny how like, 70s retro is super popular right now, but the people who love it did not live in it. <laughs> like I actually lived in the 70s. I dressed like this when I was a kid. Um, still love it though, you know? It's just funny that how times change. I don't know. Stay wild, flower child. And then we have some more boxes. Love this shape of a box. Groovy vibes, look at her, wow. Boho babe, choose happy, good vibes only. We've got some habit trackers in the middle and these cute little icons with a peace sign and stuff. And then you're gonna get colorful boxes to match. Some of these are solid, which is nice. So you can sort of layer them if you want to or, or leave them like that and write on them because they're light enough. Some circles there too. So double boxes here, look at her. I would never wear that, but you know what? She can pull it off. And the roller skates, the old school skates. Here's some bullet points that are even smaller, I think, than the first ones. Really cute. Loving these colors. This is true 70s, I think. Maybe early 70s, right? Be kind to your mind. There's that girl again, flower power. Ooh, look at these, these are cool. So these are gonna go on the side of your page or the side of a box. The brown, the addition of the browns in there, I think what makes it really super retro when this olive green was so popular and the orange. Um, these are strips. Yeah. Let's see how far they go. All right, they go to there. So it looks like most of them, oh wait, no. So this is thicker strip here and then some thinner ones. So you've got different sizes of strips, like some are smaller. Um, thinner and some are wider, some are longer and shorter. Do you guys remember in the 70s they had like, everybody had olive green appliances, remember that? Ew, so ugly I think. Not for this these stickers, but for the appliances. 
like a, you have an olive green stove. Ugh. But it was very popular though, right? We actually had orange cabinets when I was a kid, like bright orange in my house. And they were so trendy at the time. We have some letters here and some numbers. Very nice. Oh, these are unclear, by the way. These ones are unclear. And then these are unclear, too. Let's grow together. Don't quit your daydream. Don't worry. Be happy. Peace and love. We have a little palm tree there. Flower power. Boho babe. Stay wild. Flower child. Roll with it. I think I've told you I was a big skater back in the day. Yep, a roller skater. <laughs> Not a skateboarder, a roller skater. Yeah, look at this wave, that's cool. And that little tropical flower. Look at the shoes, oh my gosh. I did not wear those, but I was a kid. I was a kid. I would not wear them now either, but that's a whole outfit without the girl. Maybe you can like, dress up one of the other girls. You could maybe like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. If you didn't like this outfit, maybe you could change it is all I'm saying somehow. Okay. She's in that jeans vest and the, uh, that those are not good looking in my opinion, just in my opinion, if you wore them in the seventies, I'm sorry, but they were super popular back then, right? Bigger roller skates, with the legs, and a disco ball, some glasses. This is so cute. These are still unclear, by the way. She is styling with that long coat and the bell bottoms. So cute. Look at that wavy rainbow. And a rainbow circle, that's pretty neat. It's cut out in the middle. You have your, um, your 70s living room there. The VW bus. Look at these a little Coke bottle. These are so cute. Flower child. Whoa, they are dressed crazy. Look at her. More of these girls. Now I would wear her outfit today. That looks like something I would wear. Maybe the shorts not as short, but I could see wearing that. That's cute. I wouldn't wear these right now, but they're starting to do it. Allie wears bell bottoms all the time. And like those really wide leg pants. So we have a lot more of the girls in various places. Um, some really funky flowers here. These are unclear as well. And these are separate stickers here. They're all separate. And these are like one. And we have some strips. These are unclear. So you've got your rainbow. Don't worry, be happy. This stuff. We've got stay wild flower child. These are really pretty. That is a cute sticker book. That is super retro. That's like extreme retro, I think. Okay, now let's just check out this tape really quick. The good thing about these pet tapes is you're going to get so many stickers in here. These are stickers. These are not, this is not washi tape. Whoops, I'm pulling, wait, I pulled it the wrong way. Darn it. That's my only problem with pet tape is I, I have problems when I'm like, I lose stickers when I unwind it and stuff, but that's just me and my mistakes. Okay, um, let me get a piece of paper here. Actually, I'm just gonna show you on the desk. I don't think we need to swatch it out. Let me just show you what's in here. Look at this. So obviously a lot of the same stuff. We have Boho Babes, Stay Groovy, these outfits and the girls, it just keeps going. We've got more, it goes and it goes and it goes. Wait, did we had that one yet? No, wow, look at this. Okay, this was the beginning. So look at all you get. Nice, huh? You get a lot. And look, the roll's really big too. So you definitely won't um, be needing like extra stickers if you get both of these, you know? Or you can just get one or the other, of course. But I like that I have a whole bunch so I can not worry about using my favorite ones. All right, let's get started on the spread. Um, this is going to be a classic vertical spread. Like I said, this is for my patron, Megan. And Megan asked me um, for a spread for the week of, wait, I have it. Okay, 
she asked me for a spread for the week of July 17th through the 23rd and usually I use pages that are dated but I thought it would be fun to pull the theme up and like do something funky at the top of the page so that's what I'm gonna do there are number stickers in here but I don't know if there's enough let me see so we need three ones I might be able to do it no because we need another one okay I'm gonna draw them myself I think let me just look at the colors here and I'm gonna match these colors with some markers I think I'm going to use these colors for the numbers, so I'm just trying to find them. That one's pretty good for the purple. It's a little pinkish, but I think that could work, right? I saw this one for the green. It looks a little bit bright. Let me see if I can find a different one. Yes, I'm writing directly on the sticker book that I just got. Aren't you shocked? If you watch me, you're probably not shocked. <laughs> You know what I just thought? Instead of doing this, I think I do want to get the ones that have the dates on them because I think Megan likes it when um, she doesn't have to glue pages together. That way she can use the back in her planner. I forgot about that, that she likes that. So I'm going to pause and go get those pages. All right, so I have four colors of pens here. These three are Ritek brush pens, and this one's a Tombow in color 673. Um, I really love the Ritek pens, and these colors seemed kind of muted and perfect for this. So I will link these down below. Everything I use, I always link. So it, unless I'm like really running out of time, but usually I do. So what I'm going to do here is just sort of take the pen and, you know, just outline it. So it's a little more colorful at the top, right? So one, two, three, we're going to do the 21. And then I'll take, let's see, maybe, maybe I'll go in this order. So we've got yellow, then orange. This is not perfect. This is sort of like a pinky orange, but I think it'll be okay. It's just at the top of the page, so I think we're good. So you can always do this to just make the numbers a little more fun. It doesn't have to be any big deal, but make them pop a little bit, right? Let's do this. Oh, something's going on upstairs. I also am doing the wash right now, and my laundry room isn't that far from where I film, so that can be loud too. <laughs> but in about a month, I will be in the new place, and it's going to be a much quieter setup. Okay, that looks kind of fun already, right? A little party at the top of my page. So with these Patreon spreads, that I make, I started this year doing something interesting where all of the people, all the patrons that get spreads get like a common theme. It might have been like polka dots or like a doodle or a little message or just like a little tiny thing that ties them all together because I think it's so fun for me anyway. <laughs> so this month I thought I would, I think, I think I'm gonna put emojis in or maybe just any sticker from this book. Because if I make a spread that doesn't have yellow in it, that's gonna be really difficult. But then there's these other colors I could use, right? So, or cats. I'm not gonna use the poop emoji. That's just ridiculous. But <laughs> um, I thought it would be sort of fun to do that. And that was a suggestion from Sharon McAllister. Thank you, Sharon, for suggesting that theme. You guys gave me some good suggestions. I might go back and um, you know, watch or read the comments again for other suggestions next month. But I thought that was sort of a fun little theme this month. So I gotta make sure I add one of those in. I think I wanna use these just like a little bit, maybe vertically. Vertically would be kind of cool. Maybe just here, in the sidebar. I think I'll end it at this bottom line here. That's kind of funky already. Now let's get the other one and maybe put it somewhere else in the spread. This is a skinnier one, which is good because I'm going to be putting it on somewhere where there's like, it's in the middle of the day. I think Bumble's about to bark, so don't let it scare you. Maybe even here. Okay, so since we've got those groovy lines, let's add a girl or two like standing next to them because I think that would be really fun. 
Maybe I'll use the pet tape, should I? Um, I know you can't answer that, or you can, but I can't hear you. Ooh, wait a minute. I have some pretty cool, funky washi. You know what? No, I'm not going to put washi in here. I think I'm going to stick to this as washi, because I don't think it, the stuff I had in mind is going to match that much. Or that well, I should say. I lost the pet tape already. Are you kidding me? Let me see if I can use a couple of girls from here. I want to use this girl, I think, because she is groovy. And I sort of want to use the green one, too, but let's see. Ooh, this one. Yeah. We'll use these two. I feel like this girl belongs on Monday because if I'm having a bad Monday, no, this isn't for me. If Megan's having a bad Monday, Megan will remember that she just needs to be groovy on Monday. She just needs to do her thing, maybe do a little dancing to get herself in a better mood, right? Yeah. I think that's a good Monday girl. And then this is more of a Thursday girl. She's rocking it. She's rolling it right into the weekend, getting ready for her weekend activities. Okay, so we've got those two girls. Let's add some boxes though, because I could get super crazy with these stickers. I really love them. Oh, and by the way, look how matte those are. Thank you, Wrong Wrong, so much for the matte stickers. That is wonderful. I love it. So let's start with some boxes and then we can move into, you know, some other stuff. I just want to make sure Megan has a little bit of function on the page. Function. Wow. I tried to make it sound like it was fun. Function. And it really, I just failed miserably at that. Sorry. Um, maybe this one should go here, like right under her. I'm not making her stand on it. I should have probably, but is that crooked? Oh. Like it doesn't look crooked down here, but definitely looks crooked up at the top. So since this is for a patron, we are going to try to make that a little bit better without wrinkling the page too much. Okay. I wrinkled it, Megan. Oh. I was trying to avoid the undo so that I didn't die of fumes. No, I'm just kidding. I use undo and I'm still alive. I think um, maybe I shouldn't line it up with that. Maybe that's the issue. I mean, I think that's better. Okay. All right, that's okay. It's not too wrinkled. Just a tiny, tiny bit. We're all right. I wonder if I could take this and put it in the sidebar. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry for my dog. It would cover a little bit of that, but I don't think that's bad. And that way it will cover up that note there. I put it down too tight and the page curled a little. Ooh, kids on stomp patrol up there. <laughs> okay. Um, let's take this little flower and put it up here. Cause like, I want to take up that space. Ooh, we could put that an emoji for the flower. Um, in the middle of the flower, you know? We could. Should we though? Ooh, how about the sunglasses one? That's kind of groovy. There. <laughs> okay, that's the only emoji you get, Megan. Let's continue with this box because it's gonna match this box and we'll put it on this side. Um, maybe I'll layer it with another smaller box. Let's see. How about a brown one? Oh my goodness. Noise, noise, noise. I feel like the Grinch. All the Who's down in Whoville are making the noise right now. Let's take this. Since we put brown on this page, we're going to put this over here. Self Love Club. We'll put it next to the girl because she loves herself for sure. I kind of want to put some of these flowers somewhere. Let's see what we can do. I am going to white out behind here a little bit using just a white gel pen. This is a um, Uniball Signo white gel pen. Okay, let's let that dry for a second. And then maybe we'll add, well, I should have put a purple one there because of that purple flower, but that's okay. Let's see what else is here. 
I kind of want to put one on the other side too. How about this orange? Maybe, maybe if I cut on the edge like this. Oh, I did not cut that straight. I did not. That was a wavy cut, unfortunately. That was pretty wavy, but I think it might work. Let's see. I didn't white out that line, but it's only a little bit. I'm going to keep it. This, though, is looking a little jankety on the edge. Um, should I try to cut it? I'm going to try to cut it with this and see what happens. It might not be a good idea. Ooh, smooth. Oops, until I got to there. Nice, I did it. Patting myself on the back. Let's see what else we've got going on. We're gonna need, so there's two boxes Monday. We're gonna need boxes on some of the other days. Let's add an orange box over here. Maybe we want a box for Wednesday as well. Um, let's see. I feel like I, I made this page curled a little. I hate it when that happens. I'm going to put a little smiley face on the top of that box. It's a little crooked, but so are we all, people. So are we all. Um, let's see. Here's a yellow box. Let's put that here on top of the brown one. Now we're running into Saturday a little bit, so I'm gonna have to have like a box up there on Saturday or something, because I, I know that that's kind of weird. I don't like it myself when that happens in my planner where I have like ink, 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 lots of cutouts on the one side. So Megan, I'm sorry I did that. I think it's cute though, and I think we can make it work. So don't fret, not that you're fretting. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. We can work with it, let's see. What if we did this? Make a little cluster there. I think that's kind of fun. Yeah, I like that. Okay, we also have these we could use, maybe a couple of these, right? Um, I want to put more yellow on this side because of that big box there, so maybe I don't want to do a stack. Um, well, maybe not yellow, actually. Orange. I'm going to give Megan another box on Saturday. I'll put it up here. So then we need one of these over there to make it balanced out a little bit. So let's get the purple, I guess. Okay. Let's see. Maybe we want to add some. Well, let's make sure we get boxes in first, I guess. And then I don't think Thursday is going to have a box. It's going to be either for Thursday or Megan, you're just going to write in your plans up there. But um, Sunday needs a box, so let's see if I can figure that out. How about a habit tracker down here? Because there's that little space there. I can give Megan a habit tracker. How about an orange one, a brown one? Let's do a brown one. Or a green one, maybe. Well, we have a lot of brown right there, so let's do a brown one. So that can be for whatever she wants. And we're gonna go over to this side and add in a box on Sunday. I can add in a long box, that's brown though. How about a purple, a long purple box? Not, this isn't that long, but you know what I mean. Oof, we are cutting it close. We've got a lot going on. Hmm, I mean, I could take it off the side a little. I don't wanna, um, layer because then there's going to be this strange little area so maybe we just do this and just take it off. I don't love that but I don't hate it either so I think we're, we're good. Okay so now every day has a box except for Thursday. We might do something else up there for box wise. Um, oh I really like this one. Why didn't I use this? Or like layering that's so cute where would I put it I could put it here oh no I wrinkled that box I wrinkled the box Megan don't hate me 
I thought I was going to be able to pull that sucker up and put it down without any wrinkling involved, but there is a little bit of creasing. It's like, you know, when your skin gets a little crepey. <laughs> it's like, that box is just getting a little older, and this one's a little crooked. Oh, is that too crooked? I, I'm afraid to lift it up again unless I get the undo. I think I'm going to leave that. I know that that's a little crooked, and I know we don't do that in my spreads for patrons, but... In this case, I think I might need to. I'll try to disguise it somehow. Let's put a girl on top. Maybe that will help. Okay, our doggie's going to sit in my lap right now because she can't control herself. And she doesn't bark as much when she sits in my lap. Bumble, you stay here. My goodness. All right, let's get a girl. I don't think I want to add blue in because there is no blue. And the green is pretty bright as well. I can get out this one in. I had to put her down. Sometimes when I'm holding her and I'm doing these videos, it hurts my back because I have to like lean over her. Does that make sense? Yeah, so I don't know about this. Maybe I'll put like a box with it, like a little box. That might disguise the crookedness a little bit. I feel a little bit better about it. Okay. Looking very cute. Let's grab this Boho Babe sticker and put it somewhere because it's cute. Okay. I don't think I'm going to put lines in here. Sometimes I do in the classic and sometimes I don't. And this time I think I'm not going to. I do want to use this and I feel like if I just put it up here, maybe we'll be okay. We're almost done. I feel like this side's done. It's really cute. But this side only has like one girl on it. And I feel like maybe we could put something there. But I also don't want to like put too much on there or add in those other colors that I don't want. I could maybe use her. But again, with the blue, we have a little blue there though. Um, or instead of that, I could add in like a chair or something. But that's orange. This is what goes through my mind, you guys, when I'm balancing colors. We could add shoes, sunglasses, I mean glasses, roller skates. Should we do the roller skates? That would be kind of fun. Let's see. Where could I put them, though? Up there. <laughs> um, we're taking up some room on Sunday. We do that, but it's kind of fun, right? Ooh, I should have whited out that line, but I'm not going to. That's kind of fun. <laughs> kind of weird, kind of fun. Okay. And I just feel like something, maybe a tiny little thing. How about some little butterflies around the flower? Like that. That's cute. And then maybe like a little header. Are there headers in here? I don't even know. I didn't see. Let's take this Stay Wild flower child and just cut off the Stay Wild part and use that. Or we could do flower child part, but I feel like this is the right size for up here. That way it adds in a little something that still gives Megan room down there to write. I could put Flower Child down here, but I think I'm going to leave that and use that at another time. Okay, I think I'm done. I think it's really cute. Um, let's name this sucker. I'm just going to call this Flower Power. I know, snooze fest, boring. But it makes sense, right? And I usually just write the month I made it in. June... 2023 and then over here I'll write Megan a note but yeah that is my flower power spread what do you guys think I think this is such a cute sticker book so again this is on sale right now it just released so you can head on over there the link is in the description box and pick yours up don't forget about the tape as well and you can make some groovy spreads of your own okay and you will save 10% with that so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video bye